Hello and welcome back guys. This is Florian Schiffer with a video about the Panda Power Diagnostic Tool. What is the Panda Power Diagnostic Tool? It's a tool which will help you to find some issues why the power flow does not converge in your grid. For example, when you have two buses which are being connected to each other from different voltage levels, this is not allowed to be, so the power flow does not converge or you have buses which are not connected to an external grid. This is another reason why the power flow might not converge or the load is too high or the generation is too low or whatever. So this tool will help you basically to find those issues. You will find more out about this uh, on our website. If you go to pandapower.org, click on getting started, go to the interactive tutorials here and here you find diagnosing inconsistent or incorrect data. This will uh, be an extended explanation of this video basically but now let's get started so to get started we just import the panda power uh, functions as always and also the panda power plotting tools and i just copied now the faulty example network from the jupyter notebook here which has some issues we want to find with the diagnosis function so uh, to start, we just define a function here uh, called diag, and then we can, for example, try to run a power flow calculation. And what you will see is that the power flow, uh, power flow will not converge. So if we start now the calculation, this function is being called, the net is being loaded, and the power flow will not converge as you can see here. So there's an issue with this grid, obviously. To check what might be the issue, we can, for example, plot this grid here uh, with the switches. And what you will see is that this grid looks a little bit like a honeycomb. So you see here is the external grid, here's a transformer connecting the rest of the buses. And what you see on first side is, for example, this bus is disconnected from the external grid. So here you have an open switch and here you have an open switch. So this area here is basically disconnected from the external grid. And this might be one reason why the power flow does not converge. Um, but there might be other reasons as well. And this can be checked with just calling PP diagnostic net. And if you start now, you will see that it gives you a huge output. For example, uh, it shows you informations about missing bus indices, elements which are not being connected to an external grid, different voltage levels being connected to each other, and so on. To give you uh, just explanation about everything, so here it checks for the buses we've just seen, which are being disconnected by the open switches here. It gives you information about buses from being connected by different voltage levels. If we scroll up a little bit, you will see that bus number uh, two here, or bus number one and bus number two are a 20 and a 30 kV bus being directly connected by line zero, which is not uh, allowed. The same issue is uh, here for one, three and line number four. You have uh, a check for impedances, which are close to zero. For example, line, um, line zero here has a length of zero kilometers which is not allowed and therefore it has a very low impedance and what the power flow or the, the diagnostic tool tries is to replace it with a switch and then checks if the power flow converges afterwards it checks for example if voltage levels are correct for example this transformer here has a high voltage bus and a low voltage bus defined as bus number one as the high voltage bus and the low voltage bus is zero but if you check now the buses you will see that the high voltage bus should be bus number zero and not bus number one and the low voltage bus should be bus number one and not bus number zero okay so here's the issue as, as well then it checks, for example, if you have negative voltages defined, for example, bus number five here has a negative voltage or the line here, as I've just said, has an invalid length. Then it checks for overloads. So it scales down each load and each generator to 0.1% and checks afterwards if the power flow might converge. It checks for uh, 
generators, multiple generators or external grids at some buses. It checks for wrong switching configuration. It checks if there is no external grid, for example. It also gives you hints about a wrong modulation. For example, here we have um, a load which has a zero, uh, a negative value for PMW, which is also not allowed. So loads, sh or it's allowed. So the power flow would converge, but it's not a nice style. So you should replace this load if it's really negative um, with a, a static generator with a positive value, for example. Um, then it checks for deviations for from standard types. It checks if there might be an issue with the JIT compiler being used in the background for speeding up the power flow calculations. And it checks for parallel switches. I'd like to stop here now because I just wanted to show you how to use the diagnostic functions for, for the grids and what it gives you as an output. If you want to fix those issues for the example grid, for example, you can have a look at the, the Jupyter Notebook again. And here you will find a huge explanation what you should do and can do in this grid so that the power flow will converge at the end. But for now, I wish you a nice day and I hope you had fun.